actually saw the tornado from our front porch. This thing has gotten much bigger. This is a large tornado now. There it is! We have touchdown, people! Complete shock, because we've never seen anything like that here before. Man, it has been some really rough days for parts of Colorado. Since last week, they've had to deal with flooding rain, damaging hail, and tornadoes. Yeah, it is the time of the year where severe weather really ramps up in that part of the country and is providing us with some pretty amazing yet very dangerous pictures. In fact, take a look for places in eastern Colorado like Denver. June is typically when you see kind of an uptick in severe weather. In fact, in terms of tornadoes, we don't see a whole lot in uh, March or April. We kind of have a, a decent amount in May, but then take a look what happens in June. We nearly, actually, we more than triple that number up to 108, and we still stay uh, pretty active as we head on towards July before we start quieting down as we head on towards the fall months of the year. You know, what's interesting is that places like Dallas, they're the opposite of this. Right. You know, really active April and May, and then they die down in June, July, and August. And it's because we get that set up in the atmosphere that starts creeping a little farther north as we get to this time of the year so uh, that will continue to do so as we get into the summer all right let's take a look at, we just want to look at an incredible vantage point of one tornado that was caught on thursday in Simla, colorado i mean look at this thing yeah new uh, video for this tornado and classic you can definitely see the condensation funnel there the debris being kicked up there and definitely wind being uh, drawn in there as well but you're thinking okay that's just a regular tornado right not so fast, my friend. Wrong -o. This is a one-of-a-kind, rare tornado. In fact, so rare, we're talking on average one in 1,000 times you'll see a tornado. You'll see one like this. Jim Cantore talks about what's so special about this one. If you'll notice what's happening here, all right, you're actually getting the debris around this thing rotating clockwise. So it's a rare clockwise rotating tornado. And typically, or excuse me, anticyclonic or clockwise. I want to use that word anticyclonic because typically uh, cyclonic would be counterclockwise here in the northern hemisphere. You can see the big rain shaft uh, behind this thing. A great shot of the, the kind of what I call a double debris collar here. So, you know, you've got the debris near the ground, but it's also being pulled up almost perfectly along the tornado. And that's really what gives us the hint that this is anticyclonic. I mean, you can see it rotating clockwise here. And so how do you get uh, what is typically known as about a 1 in a 1,000 occurrence here uh, with tornadoes? All right, let's, let's talk about the radar image. We'll bring this up and uh, kind of give you a little heads up on what, what may have happened through here. So here's the radar, and, and if you look at this, you say, oh, okay, classic supercell, air coming in here on the, on the east side. Air coming out of the backside. Here's the shear zone. So there's the gust front right in through here. The rain that I showed you uh, in yellow is right in here. Big rain shaft out of this thing. But something else is going on in through here, and it's right on this notch right in through here. There's a little something different. So let's look at the storm relative velocity a little bit. This kind of gives us the wind direction with height. So again, uh, showing up here, winds coming in, uh, air coming out of, and, of course, the gust front which is right in through here. But you'll know, think about a river. When you look at a river, the center part of the river is going uh, the fastest, right? But between two rocks, you can get these little eddies. Some are rotating clockwise, the other are rotating counterclockwise. Here is what's rotating counterclockwise on this side. Here is what's rotating clockwise. So this little eddy, and right on that notch, uh, you can actually see where the tornado is. That little that, that little gate to gate right there, a little clockwise tornado. Rarity, but it can happen. They are so rare, and it's incredible, especially to see the, in this full glory. Fortunately, this was um, obviously not really impacting any homes at this point. Unfortunately, it was in the plains, some farmland there. But um, like Jim was just saying, look at that. Cyclonic, yep. anti-cyclonic turn to it. Love seeing it. Yeah, pretty rare. Kind of beautiful. Again, eastern Colorado, the high plains, great place to ch chase this time of year to yeah. spot tornadoes if you can do it safely. Right. Hey, coming up, we'll have the tropical update, including the very latest on now tropical storm Blanca. Yeah, just barely still hanging on to that tropical storm status, but what does it mean in the southwest U.S.? It could mean something. You could like it on Lake Mead.